And now it's my pleasure to recognize uh, the gentlewoman from the Fort Worth area who uh, has uh, spent a lot of her career in Congress uh, helping to make sure that our soldiers uh, have the things that they need and supporting them. Uh, and I now recognize uh, Mrs. Granger from Texas. Thank you very much, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to rise today to honor a true American hero, and that's Chris Kyle, retired Navy SEAL, Chief Petty Officer, who was killed at Glen Rose, Texas on February 2nd. Chris Kyle basic, uh, heroically defended his country through four tours of duty in Iraq, where he participated in major battles throughout the country. He was the single deadliest sniper in the history of the United States military. Chief Kyle was shot twice in the fighting and was in six separate IED explosions. However, he never received the Purple Heart because he didn't want to be separated from his unit while the paperwork was being processed. Chris Kyle fought for his country and saved the lives of many of his fellow Americans, but his accomplishments extend far beyond the battlefield. After 10 years of service as a SEAL, Chris retired from the Navy to focus on his family. He continued to train military personnel and security staff, and he wrote a book documenting his time in combat, which one of the members talked about. But rather than keep the proceeds from the sale of the book, he donated the money to the families of two fellow SEAL members who had fallen in battle. On February 2nd, Chris and his friend, Chad Littlefield, were tragically killed by a veteran they had sought to help. This act of violence may have taken Mr. Kyle's life, but doesn't erase the powerful legacy he leaves behind. Mr. Kyle is survived by his wife and two young children. He lives on through his family, through the lives he saved, through his heroism in combat, and through the veterans he helped. He continues to be a source of inspiration to all who know his story. On February 11th, more than 7,000 people from around the country gathered in Cowboy Stadium for Chris Kyle's memorial service. Hundreds more braved bad weather to line roads and highways to honor Chris by watching his funeral procession on the way to the Texas State Cemetery. It was a fitting tribute to a man who touched the lives of so many and will continue to do so even after his death. This country owns, owes a tremendous debt of gratitude to Chris Kyle for his selfless service to his country, both on and off the battlefield. His heroism and the heroism of all his fellow veterans will never be forgotten. My thoughts and prayers are with his wife, his children, his family and friends, and especially his teammates. I yield back. Thank you, John.